नमस्कार आई एम चिरिंग ईडन एंड वेलकम टू द ई न्यूज बुलेटिन ऑफ आई पी आर डिपार्टमेंट गवर्नमेंट ऑफ सिक्किम एम एल ए फ्रॉम असम श्री आलोक सिंगल कॉल्ड ऑन द ऑनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर श्री प्रेम सिंह तामंग टूडे इट वॉज अ कर्टसी कॉल बाय द मिनिस्टर हु ऑल्सो कॉन्ग्रेचुलेटेड द चीफ मिनिस्टर फॉर द हिस्टोरिकल विन इन द रिसेंटली हेल्ड इलेक्शन एंड ग्रीटेड विद गुड विशेज टू मूव अ हेड टूगेदर इन म्यूचुअल कोऑर्डिनेशन एंड कोऑपरेशन His visit to Sikkim was to invite the Chief Minister for the North Eastern Council meeting which is scheduled to be held in Guwahati on 8th of September and North East Democratic Alliance meeting on 9th of September 2019. Lok Sabha MP Shri Indra Hang Subba will also be attending the NEDA meeting. The festival of Hartali ka Tij falls on the month of Sawan to commemorate the day when goddess Parvati had observed fast to get married to Lord Shiva. Hindu women married or unmarried observe a waterless fast for 3 days and worship the goddess. It is believed that God Shiva fulfills the desires of the women who fast on the festival days. The Tij festival organized by the All Sikkim Khas Chetri Bawn Yuva Sangha was celebrated in a grander manner at Higaon West Sikkim yesterday where the Chief Minister of Sikkim Shri Prem Singh Tamang attended as the chief guest accompanied by MP Lok Sabha Shri Indra Hang Subba Minister Shri Elens Sharma Sh- uh, Shri Bhim Hang Subba Administrative Advisor to HCM Shri MP Subba Press Advisor to HCM Shri CP Sharma SBS Chairman Shri DB Gurung Spiritual Leader Shri Rohit Raj Maharaj along with district officials and dignitaries Honorable Chief Minister while speaking to the gathering announced adoption of government senior secondary school soaring from his personal level and directed ministers and MLAs and panchayats to adopt a school and maintain cleanliness in order to support Swachh Bharat mission envisioned by the Honorable Prime Minister of India He also announced that Shri Badam Brindavan Mandir would be established at Dodak and the area would be developed as one of the religious and tourist destinations Speaking in context of the demands placed by the press advisor to the chief minister it was announced that women waiting house would be established in the premises of the new STNM hospital and financial assistance would be provided for the treatment of breast and ovarian cancer he also mentioned that singshore bridge would soon be renovated into a glass bridge for boosting the tourism sector in the region As per the direction of the Election Commission of India with a view to correct and authenticate the demographic details and images of all electors in electoral roll the chief election officer Shri R Telang officially launched the electors verification program yesterday through the EVP the electors can themselves verify the details in the electoral roll online and indicate corrections in details like photograph details of family address correction of spellings non standard epic number and so on similarly the district election officers come a district collectors of uh, south and east districts launched the EVPs at their respective districts yesterday it may also be mentioned here that launching of EVPs were held simultaneously under the SDMs and the BDOs at their respective centers in continuation to the ongoing series of interactive program uh, with the people in different uh, gram panchayat unit under gelsing barmek constituency minister kam area mla shri loknath sharma led door to door visit at berthang rungdu ward under barmek berthang gpu on 31st of august thereafter the minister had a meeting with the villagers where they expressed their happiness and put forward their expectations and grievances People collectively proposed a demand of primary health subcenter and elaborated on the difficult terrain and inaccessibility of isolated hamlet. Minister Sharma assured to take up genuine demands of the public on priority. He also shared his plans and proposals of developmental activities for the upliftment of socio-economic status of people of Rungdu. He enlightened the gathering on various act- activities including enhancement of old age pension amendment and framing of official procedure to transfer name of landholders in public interest and the upcoming scheme of garib awaz yojana envisioned by the chief minister Now in other news in what seems to be the victory and relief for the people of Sikkim uh, the union government has withdrawn its decision to open mount kanchenjunga and other sacred peaks of Sikkim for mountaineering The decision was taken on Friday during a high level meeting convened by AK Bhalla Home Secretary Government of India at New Delhi. 
During the meeting, it was decided that 14 sacred peaks regarded as deities, including Mount Kanchenzonga, will not be open for mountaineering and trekking, while 10 other peaks of Sikkim will be allowed on the request of Indian Mountaineering Federation. On 31st of August, Honorable Chief Minister of Sikkim Shri Prem Singh Tamang and his Cabinet of Ministers and the Political Secretary attended the Silver Jubilee celebrations at Namchi Government College, Kamrang. Addressing the Silver Jubilee function, the Chief Minister expressed his deep satisfaction over the unprecedented growth of the college. The Chief Minister made a series of announcements which include green economy to be the developmental theme of the state government for working on various lines of uh, development. He announced that MP and CM fund of the state would be utilized uh, exclusively for the development of education and health facilities in the state of Sikkim. On similar lines, in lieu of a Chief Minister's meritorious scholarship scheme, the Chief Minister announced prioritizing the selected BPL students and reservation of five seats for the students of Zonggu, North Sikkim. He also announced the establishment of four model schools, one in each district. Now, shifting focus upon the unemployment scenario of the state, uh, the CM declared the month of November and December as employment month, wherein in every department within the state, they shall generate imperative and uh, vitally essential post on an annual basis for the educated unemployed youth of Sikkim. Likewise, uh, he also announced the initiation of employment and appointment policy, transfer, retirement and promotion policy to stimulate and upgrade a work-oriented office environment. On the same day, Minister Loknath Sharma attended the inaugural function of the 20 days long training program of promoting sustainable livelihoods in Northeast India, the cane and bamboo cluster development project as a chief guest at Burmaik. The training is being organized by Himalayan Science Society, Sikkim in collaboration with Kane and Bamboo Technology Center, uh, Barnihat Assam, sponsored by Northeast Council Government of India. Viewing availability of bamboo resources in the locality, Minister Sharma emphasized on planning of the state government to develop a bamboo industry and urged participants to be strongly determined to take up bamboo crafting as a lucrative profession. He assured that required tools for bamboo crafting would be provided for Bormwick cluster. On the 30th of August, uh, Honorable Chief Minister of Sikkim uh, attended the closing ceremony of the 10 days long Sanskrit Sambhasan Shivir organized by Sanskrit Patshala at Lower Bormwick, West Sikkim. While addressing the gathering, the Chief Minister spoke extensively on the plans of the government to encourage the growth of Sanskrit language in Sikkim along with other languages. Speaking in the context of recent appointment of 170 Sanskrit teachers after the formation of new government, extended gratitude to the Government of India and Education Department of the state for their support to ensure justice to the educated youths. He further announced that the monthly salary of the 170 uh, Sanskrit teachers would be enhanced from 8,000 to rupees 18,000. Demands and proposals were placed regarding the establishment of Sanskrit College, development of a sacred cave of Thyongsi uh, Sirijunga located at Lower Martham as a tourist destination, changing nomenclature of the school as Thyongsi Sirijunga Government Senior Secondary School, Barmek Martham, establishment of auditorium in the school, road connectivity from Gelsing to Barmek via Rungdu, establishment of parking plaza at Gelsing, proposal of sewage management and establishment of culture research center of Sherpa community and others. That is all we have for now. We will be back with more updates. Thanks for watching.